My name is Rosanna Mariam Sirignano and my budget story is about hijab and dance. Very often when I was a child, I was told stay still because I used to move around, breaking things, hurting my knees and being noisy. I always known that I was born to move and to make noise. And dance is the perfect connection between noise or better said sound and movement. During my childhood, I promised to myself that the first money I would earn would be invested in dance. Few months before my first dance class, something very important happened in my life. I was in Syria to study Arabic and meeting Muslim people, hearing the prayer call every day, visiting the mosque, helped me to become aware that Islam was my spiritual path. So in November 2010, in Damascus, I pronounced my Shahada and I embraced Islam officially. I began to pray five times a day very soon. Interestingly, Islamic prayer is based on specific movements that help the body to stretch. Prayer is not fitness, of course, is a way to worship God. Prayer requires also a specific dress code that for women is a hijab. I've always loved this ritual of wrapping a piece of cloth around the head and cover the entire body because it makes me feel prepared to get into connection with the divine. Few days after my first prayer, hijab began my dress code, even in the public sphere. But while in Syria, I was one of the many women who wear the hijab. Back to Italy, I became a kind of Muslim body. I was perceived as alien to Italian society. Some people started to ask me, are you Italian? Or compliment me on my way of, of speaking Italian. Oh, your Italian is very good. And when I replied, sono italiana, I'm Italian, sometimes they got confused because Islam is still considered by some the religion of those foreigners who are less acceptable in the society. So prejudice against Islam can bring together racist ideas. It wasn't easy to deal with my new body and the way people began to perceive it. But wearing the headscarf meant also to have the opportunity to open up discussions on Islam, on discriminated bodies, on women's rights. Transmitting knowledge about Islam to a broader public is still my job. Wearing hijab doesn't mean only to put a piece of cloth around the head. It's a way of living, a way of dealing with the body. But let's come back to dance. As soon as I began to work, I enrolled in a dance course. I opted for Oriental and Middle Eastern folklore dance. I used to practice mostly every day, but because of prejudice about Muslim woman body and taboos about Oriental dance or so-called belly dance, it took me more than 10 years to dare to ask my teacher, uh, can I? perform with hijab and she said yes of course you can even participate in the Italian championship what Italian championship am I ready and yes I was ready because after a few months of training I reached the first place twice this was a sign from the divine from that day dance became another way for transmitting knowledge a way to encourage people to liberate themselves, to be themselves, a way to raise awareness that 
the experience of Islam is different from any one of us. That every person has the right to live faith according to his or her view and circumstances. When I dance, I feel authentic because the body cannot lie. Dancing is another way to be Muslim because religion is joy, freedom and personal growth. And this is a privilege.